Hello everyone. Uh, let's look into a very good set of linear arrangement. Let's read the set. Seven person P Q R S T U V is stand in a queue. Each of them is born in a different month of the same year. That is months are March, April, May, June, July, August, and December. Now we have some informations given. Let's see what exactly it is. P stands ahead of the person who was born in March. The youngest person does not stand in the middle. R stands behind the person who was born in may but not immediately behind so after reading these three statements it is very clear that we have to arrange the person in a queue and accordingly we have to give the birth month of each of the person okay so we know how the table would be we'll have three columns in the first column we'll have month in the second column the person and then the order of their queue or in the order in which they are uh standing or sitting or whatever it is okay so let's draw the table and put each of the information on the paper and arrange them accordingly in the table itself so let's draw the table first fine we'll have a table something like this month in month column person and order so let's arrange the order array order is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so they are standing in a queue in this particular order and now we have to put the person and associate and the month or the birth month associated with the person now let's see what the first information says the first point says that p stands ahead of the person who was born in march so if i need to put this information on the paper how would it be that p is standing ahead of the person who is born in march now it says that it stands ahead not exactly or immediate ahead so we are not taking the consideration uh, of a block but rather we are just taking a arrangement that p will be ahead of march but make sure that it is not immediate ahead of march so we are done with the first statement now let's see the second statement second statement says that the youngest person does not stand in the middle now as all of them are born in the same year who would be the youngest person the person who is born in december is the youngest person so the youngest person does not stand in the middle so we can directly put this information in the table that the youngest person does not stand in the middle so middle will not have december okay will not have december now let's see what's the third information third information says that r stand behind the person who was born in may but not immediately behind so let's try to put this uh, so we have this is the third information so r stands behind the person who was born in may so let's suppose if person is bo born in may then r will stand behind but also it says that it is not immediately behind so it will have at least one gap and then we'll have r okay so that's the information from the third point now let's see what is there in the fourth point fourth point says exactly four person stands behind t so now it fixes the position of t exactly four person stands behind t then t would be at the third position so that four person is standing behind t so this is a static information so in a questions of linear arrangement we should always search for a static information that we can definitely put it on the table now further and the person who was born in may is not the third from the rear so the person who is born in may is not the third from the rear we can put this in a negation term that the third person from the rear is the fifth position and this person is not born in may fine so that was all about the fourth information now let's see the fifth point it says that the third oldest person stands immediately behind q now this will make a block so who is the third oldest person the oldest person is march the second oldest would be april third oldest would be may so let's try to put this information on the paper that the third oldest person stands immediately behind q so the person who is born in may is immediately behind q now it is using the term immediately so we'll make a block now further who stands ahead of u so this person may the person who is born in may stands ahead of you now it is saying that it stands ahead of you not immediately ahead of you so we'll just take into consideration that you would be just behind may now let's see the sixth information it says that the youngest and the oldest person are not in adjacent position it all says that the person who is born in december and the person who is born in march will not be together now let's see the seventh information 
neither p nor r stands either at the front or at the rear end of the queue so we cannot have p neither we can have r at the front and also at the rear end okay so that's all we can put we have tried to put it on the table itself now let's see the eighth information it says that p was born in december so this is an a static information and it says that p is born in december it means that p is the youngest person so it clearly fixes the month for the p and let's try to put it on this over here that eighth point is saying that p is born in december okay so this makes it clear that p is the youngest p is the youngest of all and the person who was born in consecutive months are not in adjacent position so we'll have to take this in mind that person who is born in adjacent months or consecutive months are not in adjacent positions now the ninth information is very simple very clear that t is older than q and s so t is older than q and t is older than s okay so t is older from two people that is q and s and also that p is born in december so what could be the minimum month or the birth month of q uh, sorry or of t t should be greater than two people and also that p is the youngest so t must be greater than at least three people so the minimum birth month of t would be june this is also clear anyway we'll look into it how we can try to fix it but this is the first uh, information that we can draw and let's try to see what all we can put now how to go further about the set and solving the set so whenever we have any information the only key statement to start the set is from the point or from the attribute for which we have more information now if you can see the information that we have put on the paper we have more information about may may in the fifth point even we also have a negation about may so comparatively to all the attributes we have much information about may and information related to may so let's try to put where we can put may or not so can we put may at seventh position definitely not because we need one r or in fact we need two places for may after may we need two places because just after may we cannot have r and r is at least one space or one place down the may so may cannot be put at seventh position not at sixth position can i put may at fifth position no it is clearly you know negated can we put may at fourth position no because if i put may at fourth position we'll have to put q at third position so only two positions for me that is uh, at third position or at second position so in fact if may is at third position q would be at second position if may is at second position q would be at first position so just two positions for q or may as they are just in a block that q can be at second position or at the first position so let's start by putting q at second position so let me change the ink color so that we can know what exactly a statement is fixed and what is not so if you put q at second position we'll have may at third position so t would be for may now that's all we can put now what all we have we know that p is born in december and it cannot and it is the youngest and p cannot be put at the first position p cannot be put at the fourth position because fourth position december is the negation so can you put p at fifth position yes we can put p at fifth position can you put p at sixth position no we cannot put p at sixth position because if we put p at sixth position we'll have something to put at march and march is the oldest and p is the youngest and oldest and youngest cannot come together it is said in somewhere in the point that the youngest and the oldest person are not adjacent so if p is at sixth position the oldest person which is the march which is just below p would be over here and they will have to be together so the only position for p is at fifth position so let's try to put p over here if p is there p is born in december that information we already have from the points okay now march because before or below p 
और बिहाइंड पी वी हैव मार्च नाउ मार्च कैन नॉट बी पुट एट सिक्स पोजीशन बिकॉज यंगेस्ट एंड द ओल्डेस्ट कैन नॉट बी टुगेदर सो द ओनली पोजीशन फॉर मार्च इज टू कम एट सेवेंथ पोजीशन सो दिस इज मार्च ओके नाउ दिस इज मार्च नाउ व्हाट इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैड समथिंग रिलेटेड टू मे दैट आर एंड यू वुड बी यू नो बिहाइंड मे now r where can r come can r come at fourth position no because may will have at least one space left or one place left and then we'll have to put r so this fixes the position of r that r would be over here and we don't know the month as of now now let's try to see if we can put something over here in this column of month so let's start with r or what can be the birth month of r it cannot be april because two persons adjacent to each other cannot have a consecutive birth month so r cannot have april okay can this person who is sitting at fourth position which we do not know can be at april no because april and may would be consecutive month in fact q cannot also have april so the only position for april would be over here so april is at this position similarly so let's look for june because we have april may so june cannot be at q q cannot be born in june not this the person sitting at fourth position can be born in june so the only place for june is at this position that june is over here fine so now what two months we have left we have july and august left and it can come at both these positions fine now we know that p is greater than q and s now we have three people left that is u v and s so can s come at first position at april no because t is older than s and april if s is born in april then s would be older than t so s cannot come at first position can s come at fourth position yes s can come at fourth position definitely it can come can s come at 7th position no s cannot come at 7th position because s will be born on march and s would be older than t so the only position for s is at 4th position now also we know that u is behind me so the only position left for u is to come at the 7th position and the only person left which would be v would come at first position that is for sure now all this arrangement was made when we fixed initially or our fixed initial was that when q was at second position and the two positions were q were there that is q can come at second position q can come at first position now let's try to see the arrangement when q is at first position let's draw the table put the information and go ahead now let's try to put q at first position when q as at is at first position the immediate month or the person birth month of a person just behind q would be may so this would be may so if this is q this person is may now where can we put p this p can we put p at fourth position no we cannot put p at fourth position because p is born in december and december cannot come at fourth position can we put p at fifth position yes we can put p at fifth position can we put p at sixth position no we cannot put p at sixth position because we'll have to put one march and march is the oldest p is the youngest oldest and youngest cannot come together so p would be at fifth position if p is at fifth position uh, then this is december of course that is fixed for p then the person born in march would be at seventh position this is for the person who is born in march now what is left arrange month so march we know may we know so let's try to see april can april come at sixth position no because the person in consecutive months cannot be adjacent can april come at fourth position yes it can come but not at third not at first because it would be adjacent to may so the only position for april to come is at fourth position that april would be over here now similarly let's look for june can june come at this sixth position yes it can come 
but not at third position we cannot have june because may and june would be adjacent again not at first position so the only place for june is at sixth position similarly for july can we have july at third position yes we can have july and we can also have july in first position and similarly for august and july so we can have august and july if this is july we'll have august over here and if this is august this is july fine now what is the minimum birth month for t the minimum birth month for t is july or there are just two possibilities that is july and august now it is mentioned over here that t has to be greater than q and s so the minimum birth month for t should be july but we also know that p is the youngest one and he is born in december so the minimum birth month for p should be june in that case because it is definitely greater than two person that is q and s and definitely greater than p because p is occupying the youngest position or the least position or p is born in december okay so the minimum birth month for t should be june and we, we we can see that we just have two possible months for t that is july and august so this complete scenario is negated or this case when q is at first position is negated and this is the only condition or this is the only arrangement that will follow now let's answer the question the first question is if q is younger than s if q is younger than s so mean it means that q would be august and s would be july so q would be august s would be july in that case then who was born in july so s was born in july who stands at the front end of the queue it's v who stands at the front end of the queue how many persons stand ahead of the fourth oldest person who is the fourth oldest person the person who is born in june who is born in june Uh, r is born in june and it is at sixth position how many persons standing at or ahead of the person stand uh, born in june there are five person so answer of this question is b so that's it so what was our whole approach first we understood what the table would be and how the table would be then we put down each of the information that we can put on the paper we put down each of the information that we can put on the table with the static information negation statement and so on and try to look at the information for which we have attribute for which we have more information so it was may and we find what could be the positions for may and what it was associated with may was q so what would be the position for q the position for q came out to be either at second position or at first position we can see the arrangement for second position for first position we cannot have an arrangement because the minimum month for t came to be july and that cannot be minimum month because t has to be greater than 2% and also one more person that is p so the minimum month for t has to be june hope you have understood it thank you